Hi, I'm Melissa Barnett, based out of UC Davis Eye Center in Sacramento, California. We just gave a great lecture on scleral lens troubleshooting. We have many advancements in scleral lens technology, but there are still problems that can occur. One of those problems is poor surface wettability. So that's when the front surface of the lens actually gets debris and deposits on it. It's most common in patients with ocular surface disease, those with lagophthalmus, exposure, Sjogren's syndrome, severe dry eye with filamentary keratitis, those with Steven Johnson syndrome. And this can be pretty frustrating when there's a scleral lens that's ideally fit with good vision and there's poor front surface wetting. We do have new polymer technology that is really helpful in order to improve surface wetting. Other tips are using artificial tears over the lens, treating and managing ocular surface disease, including blepharitis, meibomian gland dysfunction, and demodex, and lubricating the ocular surface using moisture goggles at nighttime. We also talked about the conjunctiva. Here you can see examples of blanching or whitening and impingement where the edge of the lens digs into the scleral conjunctiva. We have learned that utilizing toric peripheral curves and actually flattening out the peripheral curves really helps the scleral lens land more evenly on the scleral conjunctiva. You can see a picture below of a bubble, and we know that we don't want any bubbles with a scleral lens because a bubble can provide an impression on the lens. For those of you who have started fitting scleral lenses, thank you. For those of you who are interested, I'd recommend that you attend a lecture and most importantly, a hand-on workshop to become familiar with scleral lens technology.